So this one is for Ayla and Jacob. Matt is slacking with the videos. He does apologise, it will have it out by Sunday. <laughs> Just for you. There you go. Thank you. Monday, 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 and it's a fresh new week. So we have a new build that's been started over in, um, in Hale. We also have Wayne and, the, Wayne and the team are over in Charlton putting in some steels. We've got the field steel fabricator turning up to bolt everything in and uh, fit, fab, fab everything on site. We've also got Mike and Gaz flying through all the second fix um, to keep in front of the plasterers over in Cheadle. And I'm literally just heading over to our headpoint to pick off a grading bucket so the lads can grade off uh, all the area where the new build's going. So it's gonna be one busy, 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 busy week. We're over on the new build and we've uh, leveled all the land off. Uh, we're basically now just setting out the, um, the brick where, where it's going, setting out the footing. Um, and we're going to start digging now. Um, let me just spin the camera around. So as you can see here, we started putting lines across into our pins. So we know everything's squared off the house. Everything's squared off the front because it runs in line with the front of the house. Um, it's all squared off the house it, and we set up all our lines. We've got um, pins for each corner to line back through and we are literally going to start digging this leg and then the front leg and then we're going to start retaking measures off it just to make sure we're square. Whilst we're digging this out, Matt's going to head over to Charlton and go see how we'll like to get on with the steels. Oh, we've got to square this off, here. Yeah. You've got to square Are you taking this out? Eliminated. Oh, that stays in. So the steels, pretend they're going to follow that. Right, on this side of it. But on that side of it.
how's it going? I know it fucked up now. I've been a well on my own with my son playing it. I've never skied it. They said how many? Three. Three. Well, it's clearly fucking well more than three. God knows. Maybe it's better than I and I was on about eight. We'll find out, won't we? We'll find yeah, out. Two's gone now, right? We're in number six now. He's like. So this is turning from digging a footing into a uh, archaeological dig. No, uh, skip rat right called me yesterday. Skip rat? Skip rat. What are you doing there? So I'm going to follow him and get out of there, you skip rat. <laughs> no, he's still with me. Yep. It's in the video now. I'm water. That had to be here yesterday. Yeah, we found a few of them down in Ernstown. I got a marmalade fucking tub like that in the van. Not even fucking broken, aren't they? That was shit, isn't it? Pass, buddy. Pass. I have no doubts my fucking fucking pass. So I it's only been then. Been just past him. Just trying to get the concrete booked here this afternoon. So, uh, go, go, go. Yeah, it's all systems go now, mate. How much concrete do we need? Uh, I, found, I worked out about 19, 20 years. Well, it's just uh, concrete's on today. Uh, we've got 20 cube coming over with a pump. Um, we're just literally flying over now to the builders, merch, local builders, merchants, MKM. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, i'm just going to get some rebarb um maybe about 10 mil thick rebarb and we use that as pegs in the ground as we're pegging out with so we know our levels also reinforces the concrete So that's it. We got the footing all dug out in, in a day and a half, all pegged out. Concrete was gonna come today, but we couldn't get the pour. So we're concrete back here at so dinner time tomorrow. So we're gonna get this footing poured and be ready for the brick layers. So I'll see you tomorrow.
concrete's just been and gone, all, all the footing's poured. Uh, we've got Luke just trialling everything up now. We're, we're just going to get a measure up on the brickwork now. I'm going to get all the brick up to DPC ordered. Uh, I'm going to call Ready Mix, get some Ready Mix ordered for Friday. Uh, and then, yeah, we should be starting this on Saturday morning to get it up to DPC. Let me spin the camera around. So we've got Luke now, who's just, who's just uh, trialling everything up. Uh, as you can see there, all our pins are set out to pin our lines off to get so it's all square, ready to go. And John's just having to tidy up. But good morning. Um, I'm heading over to um, Hale today to set out the footing for this annex. So we can um, look at getting all the, the groundwork prepped and um, re-leveled and stoned up. So um, the materials have arrived. Ready mix mortars just arrived. There's another text message say that they're dropping on the site. So as soon as they get there, we should be ready and good to go straight away. Um, might be a bit short on getting content today, so I'm just gonna set up a time lapse and just time lapse what we're doing. So um, I'll see you all when we get there. Pretty much complete on there now for, for the, uh, the next few days. We've just got to get a big order of um, materials now, like mortar, brick. But I can't order the mortar till um, the plain brick arrives, uh, which we ordered last week, and he said it was going to be in between four and five days. So it should be, I really should be some point in the next few days. Um, I'll chase that up tomorrow morning. But yeah, we had a, we had a good stint on that there and got that up ready. Uh, ground workers can crack on with like sanding up and stuff like that. I need stoning up, sorry. Uh, make it all nice and flat. We've, we've cleaned off our area, so it's immaculate. And yeah, we got a right good crack at that, and then we're back on another extension tomorrow. Doing the, um, Eve, oh, well, I was going to be doing build finishing off a roof in Cholton, but I've got concrete booked for the slab, so I'll just be in the way. So I'm just going to drop on a, a, brick, a little, small little brickwork extension and I'm gonna get that up whilst they're concreting and then I'll be back. I'll yo-yo over the ground workers after that. Really need to go, get that studded and we just build it all up, won't we? Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to have to wrap back from there, aren't I, to get these doors out and board up. Get them out, I'll get board up today. Fuck yeah. it Why have you sort that out? You're just giving me? Sorry, you've got to be giving me this. You need that brush. Yeah, I'm going to need uh, the drill. You've got to leave us the drill. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Gently, you've got to do it. 
Right, it's self. We've got to come over here to check on the brickies over in our Wesley project. And the uh, frame rate's going up, as you can see, it looks nice and clean. Um, this is going to be a garage that are getting up. It's going to have a double on the top. It's got an extension on the side, and then all this old shitty brick work where it's been done in snow is that's all coming out, and that's going to be all, all redone so it looks as one. Uh, it'll look quite nice. Uh, so let's go up to our next job, see how long I get over there. Whoa, I'm alright sir, how are you? So that wall's got to come out, Arky. Why are you filming me? Got to film everything, mate. Well, don't, mate. This ain't going in any videos. It probably is, though. What? Probably is, though. Get the gear there for his plumbing so we get the pipe work sort of sorted. Yeah. Then Morning. I like you little pervert. Fucking filming me from behind a fucking wall. Turn around and you're there like you. <laughs> what you doing, John? Sticking his pipe in his hole. Oh, nice. Pipe holder. Pipe holder. So, because we've done an extended, uh, or, yeah, start again. Because we've already done the existing foot in here, and now we've got to just dig out for this for some steel to sit on. I've had to drill in, put a resin filler, and rebar into it, just so it's just make the two bits of concrete stronger where they connect. Nice. First try, John, as well. Very impressive. Take seven. <laughs> Let's see Poor girl, Luke. Poor swimmingly. Couldn't ask for a better poor. Perfect. Well, it's just uh, concrete. We had a, a slight alteration on the footing. Uh, we had a, a few walls moved inside, so uh, and a bit of change of plan on the upstairs. So we're going to just redo some small footings inside, which are going to be block walls now instead of stud work. 
Uh, we've had them concrete and now we're going to start moving the stone around the side to get this site nice and clean. some talking Ryan what's going on where are we up to so we're stoned up around all the edges now uh, just digging off this to get it to the correct height so we can start putting MOT down and prepping this for our traditional slab which is king's man uh, and insulation MOT and a sand blinding so I'm a bit out of breath this is breaking anything to add Luke? You do it, John you're not out of breath no, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Prep, we're prepping this for a nice work surface for gold, gold cartone because he can't work in the mud so we've got to get the clean stone in for him nice flat surface his age his ankles are a bit ropey and all that so yeah that's where we're up to you sure you sure you don't want to go hi so we're just here hail prepping the slab internally insulation this green sand blinding internal. mlt internally mlt <laughs> Fuck off. rather than externally prepping the slab <laughs> Oh, I tried, anyway. So, we are setting out the new build now. It's got, uh, this is our deep, we're up to DPC there. So we've got plinth height is at uh, 450 to the top of plinth. So plinth sits on top of this course. And what we've got in the, going on in the front of this, it's all snapped headers with a clean closure. We've got a zipper course going on. And then uh, on the sides, it's returned into a, 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 an English bond, which I'll go, when we start laying down the sides, I'll go through with you. So, um, just like she's finishing off this, pointing it with, uh, with a weather struck pointing, and then I'm gonna uh, start setting my plimps out and then we're gonna start running in. So what we're doing now is we just reverse the bond into headers. So every other course, it starts off with a stretcher. And the second course will be headers. And it's to match that existing house. So we're, we're copying the bond of that house. So snap to on the front, English on the side. And it's got, and where you, have a, where you return the corner with a header, you'll have a queen closure just to get you back into bond. So that's it, but. That's one side up to plinth. I'm going to drop around the other side now and start setting out my, uh, my bond for the, the far side. And uh, I'm going to start getting that one up now. Yeah, through the joints, through them.
Hey, right, come on, Ryan, you old man, in your chair. Give us a, give us an update. You look fat in the top, though. Do you look fat in the top? Um, no, we're doing all right, really. Chris is not stop cutting and uh, loading out. It's uh, a lot of cuts in this. And we're just coming down this side now. We set the last two corners out. Um, I'm just finishing off pointing, and then uh, we're going to get get the finish off with plenty of detail. I'm just going to try and back to them before I go tonight. So we're going to have all this set for set really at the end of the day. Up to flint fight. So that's us now. Everything's round for plinth. Um, we're just gonna get a big order in now of more materials and we're gonna be probably back here at some point next week, so maybe even weekend, depending on how quick we get the gear, to start cracking on with everything above plinth. So we've done quite well. It looks and it looks really neat, really clean, uh, and I'm very happy with this one so far. Well, 